please gather around over to by the DC stage. We've got a very special art demo, uh, demo for you. Right here at our art station, we have Bernard Chang, artist from Batman Beyond. How you and guys former doing? artist of uh, Green Lantern Corps. And Fletcher Chufong. My name is Fletcher Chufong. I'm the director of events here. So welcome, everybody. Um, and uh, we're just going to go get started and uh, talk to Bernard about uh, Batman Beyond, if you want something to, to plug Batman Beyond. So I'm drawing Batman Beyond right now. Yeah, let's Number start off with that. First issue just came out in uh, June. June. Right? And who here has watched Batman Beyond before? Yeah. All right. Come on, it's Sunday. Let's go. It's the last day of the show. Right? We all know that uh, Batman Beyond is now Tim Drake, set 35 Spoiler. years in the future. Sorry. <laughs> well, if you've read the book, you would know. And uh, you actually pick up, uh, you could have picked up a copy of Graffiti Design. You had Batman Beyond number one on sale next door. Um, but you're right. Uh, Batman Beyond now is Tim Drake. And he's uh, 10 years into the future. Actually, far flung. 35. 35 years into the future. So let's take a look at the process. So today I'm going to do a couple drawings. The first drawing I'm just going to do is a uh, quick Batman Beyond sketch. Then I'm going to ask you guys to help me design one of the characters in an upcoming issue. So in issue four, or in the first issue, we've seen the Joker's gang in the future. They'll reappear in issue four. So I'm going to ask you to help me design one of the Jokers. And, and it's going to appear in uh, issue four of Batman Beyond. Right, exactly. So, so I'm gonna you're going to help him design the next Joker. We're going to design who, one of those characters. We're going to give that art away. And then when the book comes out in uh, September, you guys can see that same character in the book. So you guys are going to help create something right now that's going to get published in a couple months. You guys are really helping me out, so <laughs> <laughs> I should clap for you. So how are you starting off here? You're starting with the, uh, you did the eyes first, I see. Yeah, Batman Beyond, um, I've given him kind of a slightly different look in terms of the eyes, just a little bit larger. Um, his mask and costume is um, digital. So his mask comes over his face. And so we get to play a little bit with um, variations of, you can see his mouth. So when he talks, it's as if it's a regular person. But the rest of his body and the rest of his face is covered. And sometimes the, uh, the mask, when he has to take his costume off, it redigitizes off. Um, so it just leaves, uh, it's not like he's pulling it off uh, like the normal, um, regular everyday kind of. Well, there's some other differences between your Batman Beyond and the previous Batman Beyond. I'd like to think it's the I definitive <laughs> Batman Beyond. Uh, but, you know, Dustin, Dustin Nguyen used to draw a book. Right, yeah, Dustin Nguyen. Actually, I've uh, been following a little bit of his. Uh, he had a, a statue figurine of yep. Batman Beyond that was, like, flipping upside down. Um, and I really like his interpretation of that version. Um, how about you guys out there? Are you... Um, any fans of Batman Beyond? Uh, what do you guys uh, look forward to in terms of the character itself? How are you guys doing out there? You been following his work in Batman Beyond? Bernard, tell us about how he got started. Uh, I actually broke into comic books back when I was 20 years old. So that was yesterday. Uh, <laughs> last week. Uh, actually, it was 1992 at this very show. It's a little bit smaller than it is now. Um, basically, lugging a portfolio around, showing it to different editors at the different companies. Um, I met uh, Michael Davis at the time, um, and also he brought me to DC and showed my work to uh, Dick Giordano. Um, he was able to take a look at some of the stuff and give me a lot of pointers. Yeah. Um, what was your first professional work? My first professional work was at a small company called uh, Valiant. Uh, back at the time, I drew a book called Dr. Mirage. Um, my first work for DC was a book called Superman Plus, Superman Plus the Legionnaires. Uh, and since then, I've also drawn Wonder Woman, Superman, Supergirl, which has a new TV show. I would like to think because of me, but really not. It's not uh, <laughs> um, Green Lantern Corps, the last two years. Uh, and actually, last year, you guys helped me design 
three Green Lantern Corps members that then were, were drawn in a couple of different issues. Um, so here we have a Batman sketch. It takes about a day to pencil and ink a page. Uh, usually, you guys are all familiar with the process. You get a script from the writer. From the script, I have to then break it down into different panels. Um, a lot of times, the writer will indicate how many panels are on the page. Uh, but as a storyteller, I really get to play with the composition a little bit more. And then from then, we do layouts, sketches like this, like the pencil sketch. Then it gets inked and actually scanned and sent to the colorist. Now my colorist is uh, Marcello Maiolo, and he lives in Brazil. So I actually have never seen him before, except for pictures online. So, um, how much? Uh, how much? input do you have in the coloring process too? I know some part of your, some of your part, uh, past work, especially in Green Lantern Corps, you like to have a little color pop yes. uh, in some of the books. Is that your influence or is that the uh, colorist? That started out with Marcello. Marcello and I have been working since um, we started on Demon Knights, which is another DC Comics. Uh, Demon Knights is, uh, featured Etrigan and Jason Blood. Uh, it was kind of a medieval superhero book. Um, then we moved on to Green Lantern Corps. And in Green Lantern Corps, which had dealt with a lot of color, um, Marcello was really able to stand out a lot. And he chose specific panels that he popped with just um, kind of simple colors, but it really helped um, um, kind of draw the reader into specific intense moments in the story. So let's, uh, let's actually change gears right now and go straight to the Jokers. Okay. So, uh, so did you said the new Jokers is more, it's more of a like a paramilitary type of. A uh, they're like a gang, uh, a cultish kind of gang. So it's not the Joker himself, but a group of guys, a group of young kind of misled youths, um, looking to create. Uh, I'm looking at David Pena, the editor of Batman Beyond, for guidance here, um, and they're uh, kind of a young gang looking to create chaos. So a lot, a lot of misled youths, um, and they want chaos. They were trying to actually, in Batman Beyond, in the comic book, Gotham is protected from Brother Eye by a computer program. Um, and in the first issue, the Joker's gang tries to disable that computer program, uh, which would then allow Brother Eye to spot where Gotham is to then destroy Gotham. But the rest of the world has already been taken over by Brother Eye, right? So a lot of the other cities in the DC universe have been destroyed by Brother Eye. Well, let's hear some suggestions from the crowd as far as right. uh, what so, do they want to see in this uh, Well, Jokers. first of all, let's, let's say, uh, do we want a, a male or female? And uh, just yell out. Female. female. Any males? Female? Uh, females? <laughs> yes. We'll go for female. Male? No. Ah, okay. there you go. <laughs> female. All right. So it would be a girl. Uh, how old, age group, age range, probably between 15 and 30, but um, any suggestions, 25, 21, so in their 20s, any other objections to this? Do you want to really, no one wants a really young Jokers gang member. Okay, so 20, mid-20s, right? Um, so so how, far we got female, mid-20s. Females, mid-20s, how tall, how short, do we want um, particularly tall or... Five Six foot, foot ten, <laughs> seven foot two, <laughs> no, uh, five foot ten, four ten and a half. So we have one four ten and a half going once, four ten and a half, one, 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 four ten, one, five foot one, five foot one. <laughs> hey, I thought you knew how five to do one going once, five, five one, one five going five one, five foot one, five one it is, five two, five foot <laughs> one. So we'll make it kind of around five foot average height. Uh, what how about, about hairstyle? Skinny, thin, uh, a little bit on the thicker side. Uh, Voluptuous or uh, like built like a refrigerator. Um, well, here, see, what we'll do is uh, so typically, when we start sketching, you have a framework. And you guys kind of see this. You see it here too, Bernard. So it's about five foot one, two, okay. Mm -hmm. 
So kind of average, average built. Long hair, short hair. Oh, let's say long, long hair. Short hair. No, long hair. Curly or straight? Curly, straight? Straight, curly? Straight? Oh, I think curly is winning. Okay, all right. How curly? Really wavy? No, I'm just, all right, so. All right, so we're kind of getting there. Um, kids down in the front. Uh, big hands or small hands? No, you guys don't want to chime in? Small? Small hands, okay, all right. That's what we have an eraser for. Any other special characteristics? What did this person do in their previous life before they joined the Joker's gang? Were they a student? Were they working in a restaurant, working in a comic book store? Were they working at DC Comics before it got taken over by Brother I? Waitress, student. Waitress. We got waitress, student, or mom. Student, mom, 25-year-old. OK. No, yes. That's it, nurse. Student, student. All right, by applause. Student. <laughs> Nurse. <laughs> Waitress. Teacher. Nurse. We got nurse. Okay, nurse, nurse. All right, nurse. And then uh, let's do a close up of the face. A roundish face, squarish, wide. Yell it out. Don't, don't hold back. You guys are so reserved today. It's okay. It's okay to yell out. It's, let it all out. Let all the frustration out. Round? We got a round right here. Round, round. Okay, so we're going a little roundish. And let's see, we got wavy here. Are we gonna give her a lot of earrings? Oh, okay. Any any jewelry? Uh, we say lots of jewelry or little jewelry. So let's hear for lots of jewelry. Applause. Little bling, no bling. <laughs> so we got uh, lots of jewelry and maybe lots some of jewelry. bling okay, on the, on the uh, grill, on the teeth. Is this okay we get a piercing on the eyebrow? Okay, editor says yes. We got to go on a piercing on the eyebrow. How about a nose, nose ring? What about nose ring? Nose ring? Yeah, okay. <laughs> no? How about some nose hair coming out? <laughs> no? You guys don't want nose hair coming out? No. In the future, they might not be that concerned about. Uh, what about tattoos? Yes or tattoos? Is there a yes? No. All right, we got yes for tattoos. What kind of tattoo? Uh, a Mike Tyson tattoo? <laughs> well, their face is going to be painted white because they're jokers, so you can't... It'll, it'll be our secret. We'll know that when you see it come out behind, underneath the makeup, right? And then uh, earrings. What about um, a gap in the teeth, nice teeth? Somebody suggested teeth. grill, but... Uh, uh, Grills, crooked teeth. <laughs> crooked teeth, anybody? <laughs> Uh, how about a gap right here? This way, when you guys open up the book and you see, you know exactly this is her. That's right. There's no doubt. <laughs> this was created here. Anything else? Any any other one? Uh, anybody else want to chime in? Unibrow. Unibrow. Uh, thin or thick eyebrows? Thin or thick? Thin or thick? Like a lot, like a thick lot, eyebrows? like thick All right. or thin. Which one? <laughs> thin. thin. How, how about thick? Let me get applause. Thick or thin? I think we got kind of a mix. little mix. All right. How about so one thick, one thin? One thick, one thin. <laughs> That's why she joined the Joker game because she's upset. 
Any other, uh, anything else can we put in? Now, I've been drawing the Joker's gang with kind of a scary makeup, right? So the mouth is a little bit scarier and skewed and um, one person has a star. So they're kind of like scary clowns. Um, are there any particular symbols that we want to make uh, for the eye? A star, a circle, a square, a triangle, um, a diamond, a diamond, anyone else? A star. I think the kids want a star. A star. Okay, so what about one eye with a star, one eye with a, or a diamond tattoo on the cheek? All right. Sounds okay, good. but a star for one eye. All right. So we have a star. And a diamond. In the future, a diamond instead of a teardrop, what does that mean? She stole, she robbed the jewelry store. Okay, it's kind of getting there. She's a little, anything else, David, that we can think about? Let's see, weapons. Does she have a, a does she carry a, a club? Does she use her hands? Is she very good? In grappling, a belt, a belt. Okay. A really big belt. <laughs> what if she wears a belt around her neck? Yeah. Right, and then it's studded with be it's bejeweled or bedazzled or what kind of? Uh, let's see. Diamonds. Diamond crusted. I think we're getting there. It's beginning to take shape. Anything else in terms of the headgear? Uh, hat, hoodie, uh, headband, headscarf. What color? What color hair? Well, let's say what color hair? Green, red, blue, orange. What's that? Purple. Orange. So we have green over here. Anybody for green? By applause, Nobody green. For, nobody for green. Wow. Okay. Purple. Purple. Do we have a purple, purple curly? We have an orange. Shout out to uh, orange. Orange, orange. So purple. Purple. Orange. Okay, All purple. Right. I'm just gonna write purple here. What's that? So. All right. Otherwise, uh, I don't have any colored pencils. Um, any? Oh, so any any headgear? Any hat? I mean, she doesn't have to have a hat or anything. A hoodie? We already have one Joker with a hoodie already. So. What about a headscarf? A what? What's a that? What a syringe over the head? Headphones? Headphones. 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 <laughs> they could wear headphones. Yeah, big ones. Yeah, big ones. Anything else you guys would like to see? I mean, the editor is right here, so once it gets approved, it's already in the book. W for Wayne Beats. No, Wayne Electronics. So she could have them around the, the neck, or at some point, maybe she has the headphones. That's actually a pretty cool look. Never really seen a comic book villain with big headphones on. And it was created right here, DCU, because it's you guys at San Diego Comic-Con. Anything else, are we good? I think we got to wrap it up soon too. So, anything else, guys? What do you think? What do you think so far? Again, this uh, she'll be debuting in Batman Beyond number four, number four, coming out in September, with your help. So we got so far a new Joker's female, five foot, five foot two, five, five foot, foot one, one, five foot two, one, one and with a half. purple hair. I'll compromise. 
star in the eye, a diamond under the, one of the eyes, and headphones, and the uh, bedazzled belt around her neck. And what kind of clothing would you like to see her wear? Should she be wearing uh, jogging pants, regular clothing, a night out, a uh, nightgown, um, a dress, a dress, a tutu. That's actually pretty cool. That's interesting. All right. So let's see. And then how about some stockings? What about a shirt? Anything and sneakers? You guys want high tops or sneakers? High tops? <laughs> uh, and any other accessory? A purse, backpack, a cane, a stick, a leather jacket? How about a leather sleeveless jacket, right? Maybe some uh, gloves. So she's kind of like a princess. And then I think that's pretty much it, right? What do you guys think, huh? Can I get a round of applause here for Bernard Chang? Hey, thank you guys so much for helping design one of the Jokers that's going to be out in Batman Beyond. Number four uh, in number September. Four. Make sure you guys go to your local comic book store or download it online. And then probably in the first few pages. Yeah. Uh, somewhere around there. <laughs> All right. Now, what so are you going to do about uh, Last week, researches? do we have a name? Oh, a name? Should we come up? Do we need a name? Well, I don't think the name's going to appear. But <laughs> uh, We'll call it Fletch, Fletcher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys very much. What are you going to do? Enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, so we're going to give both of these away. Do you have a trivia question? Uh, who, who is the Batman Beyond that uh, Tim Drake replaced? What's his name? you got to raise your hand. Well, that's it. What's you that? raise, that's too easy. Now, too hold easy. on. Okay, raise you, your you hand. Don't yell out. Don't yell out. Um, huh? Last page of the first issue. Tim Drake, who does Tim Drake run across in the lodge at the end of the first issue? Who shows up? Any of the characters that shows up at the end of the first issue from the original Batman Beyond com uh, animated series shows up in the comic book. Just raise your hand. We'll call out. Right here. She's one of the most popular characters right now in the DC Universe. Right here. Barbara Gordon. There we go. All right. Great. Thank you very much. And uh, let's see. From the second issue, issue two, if you've read Batman Beyond, uh, Tim Drake as Batman Beyond fights a villain that is also a villain that has appeared in the Batman Beyond animated series. By hand. What is the villain's name or her name? And it has a lot to do with not a pencil, but who said that? There you go. You Thank you very take a much. Of that to yeah, let me take a picture of this. Otherwise, I, I'm going to forget all this stuff. Guys, can so I get a big round of applause here for? Thank Bernard you very much. Chang?